Hey, Josh, how you doing? Well, how you doing? Good. Hey, what what have the last few been, months been like for you uh, being able to focus, you know, I guess exclusively on preparing yourself physically for the draft and, and uh, everything you have to do? And, and where have you been training? I've been at Balmeritos down in Aventura in my, uh, Miami. And it's been fun, honestly. I've been focusing on just ball and honestly felt like a kid just out there training for just ball. Uh, good morning, uh, Joshua Mateus from Brazil. Uh, congratulations for going for the, the NFL draft. Uh, when, when it comes to players like you that have maybe some injury problems during the college career, how do you try to show for the NFL scouts and coaches that uh, your health is good and it's not going to be a problem on the next level? Um, just rehabbing and stuff like that, and then performing. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Hey, Josh, how you doing, man? It's Phil Corella from Overtime Fantasy. Hey, Joshua, it's Phil Corella from Overtime Fantasy. How you doing? Well, how you doing? You I'm doing all right. Um, can you describe what it was like to play at Florida State, and uh, what will you miss the most about playing there? Um, it was nice to play somewhere where there's so much tradition and so many elite-level guys before me, and it would, I miss just playing with my dogs the most. Hey, Josh, I was hoping you could walk us through the process of the decision to declare for the NFL draft. You obviously had the option to come back with the extra year of eligibility. So I guess what was that, that process like? Did you consider coming back, or were you always kind of anticipating to, to go pro after the season? Um, I weighed all the options. I looked at everything. And one big part that I played in it was I graduated in December, so I got my paper. And after that, I just felt like it was time to take the next step. Hey guys, just talk about uh, when you when you just talk about the type of player that uh, a team would get if they select you. They get a every down defensive end, dude that can stop the run, get to the quarterback, and even drop in the coverage if they need me to. Hey, Joshua, how do you kind of assess where the Florida State program is now as you're leaving it compared to where it was when you got there? Uh, I definitely think they got some good stuff going, and I trust that Coach Novell will get this place back where it needs to be. Josh, going into you know, pro day and then other workouts, like obviously physically, uh, you know, your your ability is there, obviously. But what are things you feel like you need to show during some of these workouts? Um, honestly, I just want to go out there and do everything and just look smooth doing it, look fluid doing it. And things I need to show, uh, I'm not even sure. I'm not even trying to worry about all that stuff. Honestly, I'm just trying to go out and do my thing. Hey Joshua, thanks for taking my question. What does it mean for a young kid growing up in Baltimore? And I know you went down there for Florida for one year to get ready for college, but what do you mean you know, for you growing up in Baltimore going to be probably one day in the NFL well, this, this time next year? Um, uh, all the time I think back to well, growing up on the east side of the county, uh, Baltimore County, uh, walking to school, not having rides to school, uh, my mama working a lot. She still works a lot and stuff like that. So it honestly means the world to me because it wasn't always pretty, but I always kept the pushing and never gave up. And God willingly, I'm right where I dreamed about being, you know?
Thank you.